Hi everyone. In this demonstration, I would like to show you Forti Authenticator as IDP for local users for the purpose of SAML based VPN for remote access. And second use case would be G Suite as the IDP source using Forti Authenticator as IDP proxy for SAML based VPN. What I have in this topology is a 40 gate, VM40 gate in Azure running on version 6.4.2 and 40 authenticator running in my lab on version 6.1.1 and I have created a trial account on G Suite uh, enabling some application with, uh, with SAML enabled on that. I'm not covering that part of how to cover how to enable that as IDB settings on uh, G Suite and on 40 Authenticator, but I'll show you in the video. Uh, there's a separate cookbook and a doc on the Fortinet portal that can help you set this and this communication 40 Authenticator and G Suite part. Alright, so let's get started. So, this is my FortiGate Azure. I'll show you what are the settings I have enabled on this one. Now for VPN purpose, I have created a 40 gate as a service provider. So that is a that is the setting which is available in 40 gate from version 6.2.4 onwards and in the current release of 6.4. I have used version 6.4.2 which is the latest. Now here on 40 gate, this is what I have. So show you my VPN settings well, before that I show you the SAML settings so that needs to be done via CLI the option is not available in GUI yet so show user SAML right so that's that's an important setting right so let me maximize that all right so these are a few options that you need to set up in CLI. What that is, is my entity ID. That's my VAN IP for 40 gate. If you look at the topology again, so this is where I'm saying, that's my entity ID for the 40 gate. And I've enabled VPN on 10444. That's single sign on URL. That's the logout URL. And that's my IDP details. So these are my IDP details from 40 Authenticator. And then uh, I have imported a remote certificate, uh, which is the same certificate I'm using on the 40 authenticator as well. And these two attributes are quite important, username and group, because during the SAML assertions between 40 authenticator and 40 gate, these would be the two groups, uh, these would be the two attributes 40 gate would be looking at before allowing access to the users. Uh, I'll show you where it is set up on the 40 authenticator at a later stage. So that's that's only 40 gate setting. I'll show you user groups. So show user groups. So these are the two user group I have created for SAML. Now this is one for SAML underscore SSL VPN. That's for local users. And the member for that is FAC SSL VPN, which is my SAML here. And then I have another group which is Samuel SSL VPN G Suite IDP. And again, the member for that is this Samuel user setting. So that's the only configuration I have on the 40 gate. Now, if I show you the VPN settings, in VPN settings, I've enabled VPN on my WAN port. Then this is where I've created the two groups, which I just showed you in CLI. and assign a web portal access to that so you basically go create new whichever user groups you want to do that and assign a portal or a full access to that so i'm currently testing only with the web access mode uh, saml for the client based mode it's it's available only on 40 client version 6.4 for windows only uh, but for this for this video i'm only showing the web access mode so that's what i have in the ssl vpn setting if i go to ssl Portal I've created one web access here. There are no bookmarks or anything, it's just a portal for now. And I'm calling that portal here in the SSL. Then I have 
our VPN policy here where I'm saying SSL VPN for the WAN uh, these are the two source group I've created one for the GCL IDP one for the uh, local user group and that's it so there is no other user local user or user definition I've created here this is purely based on these two user groups which I've created on 40 gig so that's that's on the 40 gig side now let's look at the 40 authenticator settings So that's my 40 authenticator. Now, what I have in these settings is let's look at the authentication, user management, local users. So I have this local user created on the 40 authenticator, and then I have a remote user which is from the remote salmon server. If I show you the user groups. So these are the two user groups which we created on the 40 gig. So this is for the local user, but I've defined that create a local user group with the same name I have the 40 gig and the local user which I have remote fact SSL user assigned to that group. So that's one. And then I have another user group which is created as a remote summary group and then my remote user which was pulled from the G Suite IDP is assigned to this group. Now, if I look at the remote authentication server, SAML, this is where I have settings between my G Suite as the IDP and my 4G authenticator. So these are the settings in the which are, I've not covered in this video, but there's an article on the document website, docs.fortinet.com, you can have a look there. It, it defines the steps very clearly. So that's that's uh, G Suite acting as IDP and 40 authenticator is service provider for that. Now for this uh, SAML VPN, what we have is once the user pulled in from, from G Suite, then we create communication between 40 authenticator and 40 gate between these two via service provider settings. So if you go to our service provider setting under SAML IDP service provider, this, this is where all the entity IDs and IDP entity IDs. So these were the data. These were the details we were using in our 40 gig. So if I open this simultaneously for you, side by side on this, let me know. Minimize that. So this. So these these are the settings which we are calling here. So my service provider entity ID, login URL, logout URL are these, and my IDP. Sorry for that. And these are my IDP details, which are my FAC, which are coming out from my 40 authenticator. Yep. So that's my 40 authenticator IDP and single sign on uh, sign on details which are here. Right, so and then this is this is where you define those attributes which we have created in the 40 gig settings. So what I've done here is you say SAML attributes. So first would the username, assign that to the username. Second would be for the group and you point that to the group. Now you have to have uh, for the SAML you can do SAML username and SAML group membership. All right, so let's start and let's look at the general uh, SAML settings. So this is where you define which RAM to use. So for local user, we select local user. You can create more RAM here and then say it's my local user, SAML G Suite, or if there is an Active Directory, you can do that as well. This. I got let's say local user VM is here, local users. Now this is this is an important part here for for the replacement uh, messages. Now this defines which portal we would be using 
for the redirect so that when user log in try to log into the VPN link this redirects to your local 40 authenticator page that's where you enter your credential and then it lets you in as a VPN SAML based VPN user now for the local user you just use Yeah, for local user you use IDP server that would be the page you would be popped up with when you try to log into the VPN so we'll save that and yeah that's good and then in general we select local user to begin to test with and in our logs we'll see how, how authentication takes place when we try to do that and this was the certificate I was talking about, which we have. So I think local services. So yeah, that's the certificate we have imported into FortiGate. So that's the certificate we have imported here. That's remote cert one. And if I show you, uh, I show you those settings again. See, that's the certificate we have used here in the user SAML settings. All right, so let's try and test this for the local user first. Okay, so I go to my, oops, go to my VPN URL. So 13.75.238.235.144. That's my VPN. Now, see, that's that's the redirection happened from my VPN portal to the 40 authenticator. File into my local user details here. Remote fact SSL user password. And this is letting me in for my VPN. Now, if I go into the logs on 40 authenticator first, I'll say so. It says remote fact user. Yeah, so yeah. So that's the user logged in. And if I go into my 40 gate, it should show me there as that user is logged in as a local user. So that's that's this part, first part here, using 40 authenticator as IDP with the local user VM. Now let's try and quickly do the second one. With that to begin with, we gotta change first uh, what's that so we go to general change the reams to saml this is g suite now in the replacement message this is where we now for that we got to move this to the proxy one because in this case 40 authenticator is acting as the idp proxy for g suite and the 48 in between so it's acting as a proxy in between for g suite and for the gate. If I go to more not server, SAML, open my SAML settings, move this to proxy, copy this URL, and go here, back to IDP, replacement messages, I go to the proxy, or I can use server and proxy. This is where you're going to change the URL, which where it defines that's this is how it will redirect mine to, to my proxy URL. So see, I changed this to the, the URL I got from the uh, ID, uh, SAML settings. That's it. So don't forget to save it. You save it. And this is all good. Let's try and see what happens now. Alright, so let me log this out. Clear the history so that such and such and everything are clear. History, clear history. I'll close this and let's try again. So, in this case, now when, when I try to connect to the SSL VPN portal, it should redirect me to the G Suite page. So, 238.235.0444. Oops, what did I miss? Okay. 
Alright, you see now this URL is different than the previous one we had for the local user. So if I click on here, sign in using a cloud server, now it's redirecting me to my J Suite. So I enter This is where I was saying those assertions are quite important. provider. Yep. So here the assertions are currently li uh, linking to the local. So what we'll do is edit the first one, try and change this to summer user name, and similarly for the group, I'll try and change it to summer group. Okay. Save this. This looks better. Let's try again. Let's try and clear the history again. Da -da 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 -da. Clear history. Okay. Right, let's try again. Type this. Close the session. Open a new window to see what happens now. Okay. This is better. Doing the redirection. Okay, this is looking better. All right, so now we see we log into the VPN portal using my J Suite as IDB source. Let's look at the logs first on Forty Analyzer. For the analyzer sees this as this user as a Samuel and I go to my 40 gate to the SSL. Now the user has changed. So this is this is how you can have 40 authenticator uh, as an IDP if you have local users or if you have remote users syncing into 40 authenticator via your active directory or if you have a different IDP sources or third party IDP sources could be your Azure AD, G Suite directory, uh, could be Okta, could be Centrify, as long as that support the SAML, SAML communication or SAML uh, assertions between the 4D authenticator and the application, this is how it will work for your VPN. Now, web based, uh, web based VPN works fine, you don't need to worry about the operating system version. If you want to use the client based, your 40 authenticator version needs to be on version 6.4 to start with. Mine is currently at 6.05. If I need to use this here, uh, I need to have 40 client version for 6.4. Uh, but that's working only for Windows at the moment. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching.